All right. At the same time, uh, we had to put something fun in the show just to give us all a smile. A friend of the show, Taylor Lorenz, mm -hmm. a great journalist, of course, probably a great admirer of this program, uh, had a sit-down interview with Chaya Rychik. She is the uh, founder and um, the person who runs the libs of TikTok account on Twitter, previously of TikTok and uh, of social media fame, which, of course, uh, both of these individuals have become uh, lightning rods on social media. And so there was a great summit. Uh, between the two, which occurred with some interesting moments, which I think revealed something about the two of these people who are, for better or worse, central to our online mm -hmm. politics debate and all of that. We've pulled some of this. Uh, we will be gating some of our reaction for our premium subscribers. So if you want to hear fully what we have to say, breakingpoints.com. With all of that, let's watch the video and we'll react on the other side. If you eradicate transgenderism, which I believe you suggested in a post today. No, I never suggested that. Oh, okay. You reposted a post that was advocating for that. What would happen to the people that have already medically, socially completely transitioned and are leading happy lives? What would happen to them? I mean, what's your plan for, for that? If transgenderism doesn't exist, which it seems like you're, that's what you believe, what happens to all the people living happy lives as trans people? Well, it, first of all, the whole trans is, it's based on a lie. You can't change your, you can't change your gender. Okay, but so they could they could go live their 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 life. I mean, I can't tell someone what to do in their in their house. Sounds like you do want to tell people what to do in their house. I never said that. So you're totally okay with people being trans, just not as long as they're in public. No, I never said that. They could. It's the whole thing is based off of a lie, and I think that um, the fa this lie cannot be mainstream in our in our society it's just it's a lie and what harm is it causing do you believe um i like the truth i like truth right but i'm saying what what's the what's the harm of people expressing their gender identity differently than you believe it to be what what harm are they causing um like i said we are a a um a nation of truth and i i'm, I'm i seek the truth but that's, but I'm asking about the harm. What's the harm? You might believe it to be false, but what's the, the harm? The harm is that there's a lie that is very mainstream and is being embedded into every institution. I guess I'm wondering what the material harm is. Aside from it's maybe something that you disagree with, as in your version of the truth is different than their version of the truth, what is the material harm of them living their life as a woman or man or gender that you don't agree Not with? anything that's wrong is there a material harm necessarily. So there's no harm. I didn't say that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, I have a lot to say about this. So it's funny because I, I think I said this to you. I think that the most midwit, like right wing Gen Z poster on Twitter could have given a better articulation of the quote unquote case against transgenderism uh, than apparently the libs of TikTok <laughs> founder could have. Is she it's for a person who spends all day aggregating and pushing out all of these videos to not have apparently better formed views about this is genuinely stunning. Um, I don't know what it takes really to make Taylor Lorenz look like an intellectual uh, in this entire discussion. So Crystal, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm genuinely stunned um, by this interview. And I, we watched the full thing just so we're clear. Yeah. None of that was edited or at least that was put out by them and hasn't been disputed yet You know, by either of the parties parties that were involved. So I, I, I truly, these, these two people deserve each other. That's, that's my general take. Here. I mean, for Chaya to not be able to I know, I know. I'm even stunned by it. articulate what her view even is. Right, she keeps saying I'm for freedom. It's like, what does well, that mean? She keeps saying, well, okay. So do you want to eradicate transgenderism? Like you, you know, you liked or reposted that. I didn't say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, do, then you're fine with it. If people, I didn't right. say that. I mean, so what do you actually even believe? Let's start there. And then you can't articulate the basics of why you believe that. And to your point, Soccer, like this woman is obsessed with trans yeah, people. This is like her number one. This issue. is her whole shit. She's doing this all day, every day, and apparently won't even fully articulate what her views are. Which, by the way, I mean, so the initial, uh, you know, moral outrage panic on the right about trans people was very focused on kids, right? Yeah. And this was like, what's happened, what's being taught to kids in schools and what procedures that are open to them. And, you know, that's, that's our focus. That's what we're concerned about. And in the beginning, there was a very clear attempt to say, grownups, 
can live your lives, do what you want. And I believe that, to be clear. But yeah. as things have progressed, now you've got people like the Matt Walsh's of the world and others who, no, we also want to impose our view of how you should act out your gender roles on all of the country, including, you know, consenting adults just living their lives however they want to live their lives. Um, I think that part of why Kaya has a hard time even saying what she even thinks is she knows that that piece is like very extreme and wildly unpopular with Americans who will instantly have revulsion to you trying to tell an adult how they should be and what they should do and what decisions they should make in their own lives and with their own bodies. And so she's stumbling over that and so can't even articulate the basics of her position, let alone how those adults living their lives create any sort of quote unquote material harm to other people in the world. So that's how you end up with this just embarrassing, incoherent display in which, and that's the other thing, Taylor's not asking her hard questions. Yeah, these are the most basic and easy like, questions. I could Explain have your right. philosophy. That's it, basically, and she can't. She can't do it. She, she keeps asking about the material at harm. This is the easiest question on earth. We can talk clearly about the detransitioners, about people and all of that who have identified as transgender, underwent life-altering surgery, and then now find themselves in an irreversible position, and they believe they were victims of social ideology. Which if is you a wanna, tiny, uh, tiny well, percentage okay, but of the population saga. First of all, it's a brand new phenomenon, so that's, and even if it is, harm reduction, quote unquote, as the Europeans have found, have found that that means that it's not necessarily something that you should just cavalierly come through with, we have a massive explosion Adults of 300,000. Adults make all kinds of decisions yes, I agree. that they regret in their lives, Listen, and we don't ban them from doing that. I agree. If you were 18 years old and you want to fundamentally alter your body chemistry, be my guest. Honestly, you could do what you want. I don't think tax dollars should pay for it. And if you find yourself, you know, on the other side, literally sexually dysfunctional, that's your fault. That's like people who get tattoos and then come to regret them later on. But if you're under the age of 18, I think there should be a total and complete ban on it. Now, also, in terms of any uh, puberty blockers, I've basically become convinced of that just because of the irreparable harm. Should we Again, ban though, puberty blockers for girls who have early onset uh, menstruation that has, it's been used in that context for decades? Should well, we that's not that the too? same thing. That's not, it so, is that's the not, same thing. But it's being it's used drug. for, no, but it's being used for medical it's the same purposes. Drug. Well, no, but it's not chemically castrating them. But does it have the same of, irrevocable harm well, because it's the same chemistry? Okay, but that's a decision that can be made based upon a medical decision, not one based on a social explosion well, where we see three. 300,000 who, who is more likely 13, to litigate the medical decision? Transgender. Politicians and Kaya Reichick or doctors and medical professionals in conjunction with families? I believe that the most of these decisions should remain within the family. When yes, I said it here is too. that a, within the context of a social ideology and explosion for 300,000 people now between the ages of 13 and 17 identifying as transgender, which has been some 1,000% increase in the span of just 10 years, it is so obviously a social ideology that is coming and being pushed, I think, by some elements of our society. Well, but you completely now, discount also, though, that there's increased acceptance, which can lead to more people you identifying. Think it's a thousand, you think it's a thousand percent? You can I also, you also are ignoring the fact that the vast majority of people who identify as non-binary or transgender don't go through with sure. either the, you know, hormonal treatment or any sort of medical treatment. It's just more in how they present to the world, um, which Haya and others like her seem to have a problem with even that, which was something that in another part of this, Taylor was trying to press her on that piece of like, mm. all right, well, where do you draw the line? And what if someone says like the way that you're expressing your womanhood isn't appropriate? Like, where do you draw the line on these things? Which is another thing that she just had no answer for. Just hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right. We're subscriber funded. We're building something new. We want to replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.